in the last lecture i have discussed about how to define the pair labels and assign to the words how can we check that is it assign the pair labels i will right click on the wall and here you can see the pair label p1 assign i want to just uh, see the these walls shear walls or concrete walls i will select object type wall select close and right click show selected objects only here now i will see the peer labels of shear wall p2 core wall it is p2 core wall so i have assigned the peer labels uh, same peer label to the whole the core now i will also discuss what happen if we assign the peer label to the whole the wall or uh, if we assign separately to each wall so let's run and uh, before running the model every time i suggest or and i highly recommend you to please check your model for geometry purpose i am checking model check model select all this is the accuracy okay it will take just few seconds and then it will tell if there is any error in your model model has been checked no warning messages were generated if our my slabs are overlapping beams are overlapping our columns are not to the properly jointed so all errors will appear in this message box so now i will run the analysis and design and i will discuss what will happen i am running the analysis okay that's the meshing we have done and in this there is no meshing is showing because uh, there is default set for straight walls there is no meshing option here you can see when define uh, uh, select the area and go to assign shell uh, because i have run the model so that's why the uh, auto mesh option is uh, disabled so i will discuss uh, also later Where for the straight objects uh, e tabs do not create the meshing we have to create it manually like by selecting how many boxes we want and how much size we want and now i will see the uh, i will run the design shear wall design here you can see the for this whole wall the one value is appearing that is 6.2 and for peer labels uh, that we have assigned to the walls for each peer label in the e tab show two results at top and at bottom so here i am click right clicking this wall this is peer p1 so here top and bottom required reinforcement uh, rebar area and so that's how uh, all the summary you can study but uh, my main focus is here for all the core only values uh, here you can see for top and bottom 7.5 i'm right click here is whole shear wall leg uh, is divided into legs for example leg 1 leg 2 leg 3 leg 4 these are the legs of the uh, of the shear wall and uh, the reinforcement value is given by the e tabs is only one value for the whole the core not for each wall basically this reinforcement should be divided into all the walls so why this is happening because we have assigned the one pair label well pair label to all the walls here is a required rebar area 7.2 inch square at top and 15.86 inch square at the bottom so how we can uh, separate and discuss separately and and one option we have also not discussed in the last lecture that is spandrel beam so these uh, shear walls are connected these horizontal elements these hori horizontal elements acting like a beam or d beam so we have to assign to these 
uh, shear walls as a spandrel label we will also define uh, for example here is a pier labels here is a spandrel labels so here is s1 s2 s3 s4 you can uh, assign one spandrel label to all the uh, at all story levels or you can assign differently here i am signing s3 s4 okay so now i will also make the pair labels for example for this back wall uh, that will be p2 because for this uh, wall i have signed p1 this will be p2 p3 p4 p5 p6 and this fender labels will be assigned here now you can you can see that is 17.2 and 15.8 uh, please remember as a reference because we will discuss after separating the pair labels to each wall here i have check in check and i have to also discuss the uh, machine why not machine is appearing i have clicked assign shell auto mesh option so here is a default no meshing for straight walls so if the walls are curved then meshing will be shown if we want uh, their meshing should be shown we have to click auto rectangular mesh and this size so then uh, software will do the meshing for example i am doing for this only wall okay apply i have done this meshing why not is appearing i can check set display options shell analysis uh, analysis mesh apply okay here you can see meshing is appearing here so now i we have uh, unchecked now i will go in the plan story 4 apply okay now i will define the pair labels for all the walls p1 for the left wall this left wall for all these i will generate the pair labels for example p2 p3 p4 p5 p2 p3 p4 p5 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 labels are required 6 okay now i will select similar story or all stories option and i will select uh, this this wall here i have selected this wall and i am assigning the pair label it to p2 uh, shell uh, sorry mm, pair labels p2 apply so now i will select this wall i will assign it to p3 select this wall p4 select this small wall p5 apply and select this wall p6 apply okay so now in the 3d view I can see the pair labels assigned now I will select one by one for the spandrel beams for spend uh, for the pair labels ETAP show the results at top and bottom and for spandrels uh, ETAP show results for left and right options so I will just select this uh, concrete wall and assign uh, shell spandrel label here I am selecting top one is F4 uh, S4. Uh, basically, I have selected all stories. You, uh, this is also okay. S4 is for all the stories. If you want to assign the different for different stories, for example, here on one story. Now I will select this one, assign S3. Select this one, assign S2. Select this one, assign S1. So here I have signed the pair labels different for each wall and spandrel labels different for each floor level now i will again run analysis uh, the analysis result is taking taking time it depends on your computer uh, uh, processor speed ram etc specification so if your computer have high specification then it will take less time now after running the analysis i will go in the design shear wall design 
start and check shear wall design. Now it will design uh, each wall separately and show the reinforcement for each wall separately. So uh, we can uh, interpret results easily. And further it will not uh, disturb the integrity of the walls uh, and not uh, disturb any results. This method is also okay and I prefer this method as uh, more because it will give separate results for each wall so here now for this one is 9.43 if you sum all the walls again the result will be equal to that uh, one that we have referenced in the uh, earlier so here if I right click uh, here is the top and bottom results required enforcement top and bottom so that's how we can study and for spandrel here I am right clicking uh, sorry basically what happened two labels have been assigned to this uh, uh, spandrel we have not removed the peer uh, label from this wall so that's why this is option is a painting I will again unlock this model because we can't assign the two labels to one uh, one element so now I will select all here I have selected all the now I will go assign shell Peer labels now I will select none apply okay so now I can see what is there's no peer label and this panel is assigned uh, that's the good thing because if uh, I have shown the error is uh, or the, the bug is appeared in the in our model and I have removed that model it will be a good thing for understanding Now I will run design for shear wall. Now you will see in the spandrel left and right results will be displayed. So here for basically the spandrels results are not appearing, only the peer labor results are appearing. For showing the results in the spandrel, I will go in the uh, shear wall design display design info and here I will select there is peer longitudinal enforcement now I will select spandrel longitudinal enforcement apply okay and you can see here the above results here uh, I want to zoom here is the left and right result here left and right reinforcement uh, 1.97 and 1.71 1 in scale is required there is also one beautiful option that is a detailing so I will also run detailing here I will see uh, detailing wall details here is a concrete wall 1 concrete wall 2 and let's see what is saying uh, for the concrete wall first I have to say what is here that is a concrete wall 2 that is a concrete wall 1 so I want to see the results um, for F1 elevation here you can see F1 elevation results and detailing is, is appearing so this is a schematic uh, view for for example f3 elevation so that's how the ETAP shows the detailing you, you can further uh, study the drawings default drawings journal drawings so after that you can study the sim so that's all for peer label and spandrel label thank you